I am Andre, the humble smith, forging weapons. Let me smith your weapons. I am a smith. Such is my purpose. Well, you got some nerve coming at me like that. I'll tear you to shreds. Hey everyone, welcome back. For this build, we are cosplaying as Andre of Astora. We'll be using the Smith Script Great Hammer as our main weapon, with the Smith Script Axe as a side weapon. If you prefer, you can level up Faith to 20 to use the Anvil Hammer. Here's the armor I used for the cosplay. It has low resistances and poise, so feel free to equip something else if you need more protection. For talismans, we are using the Airtree's Favor plus 2, the Two-Handed Sword Talisman, the Smithing Talisman, and the Axe Talisman. All of these talismans enhance the throwing attack of the Smith Script Hammer, and the damage stacks immensely. If you fully charge the heavy attack for this weapon, you can deal a ton of damage, sometimes even one-shotting lower HP phantoms. In your flasks you'll want Crimson Bubble Tear and the Spiked Crack Tear, which further boosts the damage of the charge heavy attack. Okay, so the strategy on these invasions is going to be to lure them in with the hammer throw and then use some kind of AoE Ash of War to get them to get them all when they are chasing me. So in this case I'm using Hoaralu, which is very powerful if it hits. But some people already know how to dodge this. In this case, they do not. They try to trade with me and I just get one hit in, but that's good damage. They almost get me, but I managed to roll the bleed of, of the Colossal here. And my plan is to use Endure to trade with them and get at least one kill. This guy tries to trade with my Endure and gets killed for it. So in this case, this is before the bleed patch. So his weapon is almost bloodlusting me on one hit. I try to get a backstab, but it fails. And then after he gets stunned, I try to throw the hammer and see if it hits. That sometimes works, but in this case, he got hit with another Horalu, and then I just go for the kill with the throw. In this invasion, we have a perfect showcase of how throwing weapons in general sometimes makes people chase you a lot, so this is why AoE Ashes of War and Trading Ashes of War are very good with these kinds of weapons. Um, so here I just try to get them with a little chip damage from the hammer throw. They immediately start chasing me a lot, so I know they will be probably trying to hit me soon. I use Horaloo when this happens, and the Phantom here Gets one shot, I don't know how many bigger he had, probably like 30 or 40, not sure. I get the host really low, and whenever he tries to heal, I go for the running heavy, which is faster than normal, so most people don't expect it. Here I'm trying to utilize the same strategy as before. Let's try to get them with a few hammer throws to get them to chase me. You'll see it's not that easy. Most of these shots do not land. It's the best to use these hammer throws only when they're buffing or when they're casting something. So they're standing still and they're easier to hit. Once they're finally chasing me, I switch to the anvil hammer. And then I'll try to line up a uh, Ash of War, which actually combos the first part into the second one. So you can use that whenever they're very aggressive. After seeing that doesn't work, I just switch to the hammer and try to get them with Hoaralu, which actually gets the host, and then the second part hits when he panic rolls, and then I finally get him with a hammer throw. Most times people don't expect you to throw them a hammer when, uh, whenever they have a phantom chasing you, so you can use this to your advantage. 
Here the Phantom and the host are already very aggressive so I'm looking to switch to my side weapon, use Endure and then just get them both with the Huaralu. In this case uh, Endure helps me poise through that and then they just panic roll and die to the AoE. The host hasn't seen me throw the hammer yet so that probably gets him off guard. This time I'm, I'm trying to use Endure with the Great Hammer and then just try to trade with enemies with a charged heavy attack which as you saw before can sometimes one-shot phantoms um, but you will most times uh, get poise broken out of it so Endure might work against that uh, but I found on other invasions that just putting some AoE Ash of War like Waralu or storm color on the weapon might be best so in this case the host is actually hosting a duel so he's not interrupting the duel that i'm having with this phantom right here i try to throw the hammer here when he's on the middle of the storm color but he gets me with the aoe and I'm not able to get him, so try to space better whenever you're trying to punish things uh, that way. As you saw here, the hammer throw actually uses a lot of stamina. That is definitely a weakness that you have to be aware of whenever using this, this weapon. So try to administrate your stamina better. In this case, I just get him with light attack and that's enough to get him. Then this hunter starts the duel. I space the heavy attack, so my light attack can hit, and then I just fully charge the heavy. But he actually just gets hit by the hammer throw, which doesn't do that much damage. Something cool you can do with the hammer throw is actually free aiming it, which is very hard to hit, but in some cases you might find it useful. Here I just completely whiff it to the side, but he decides to trade and I just go for the light attack. Now the host is left. He has a very big weapon so I know I can't just trade it with him like I did with the hunter just now. I try to see what he's going for here and then when he's out of stamina I go for a rolling attack. Endure actually helped me to trade here with his bigger weapon and then I just try to overwhelm him with attacks and when he doesn't expect it I just go for the hammer throw and gets him with 1 HP. In this invasion I get a wizard and one melee summon. Uh, I was trying to bait them into a one charged attack but he I noticed that the phantom is just very laggy so uh, when the wizard goes back to the wall I re-aim the throw to the phantom and he just gets hit like five seconds after um, in this case I just try to go back wait them wait for them to come to me and this phantom gets hit by the complete combo of the charged heavy attack then it's just the host which is um, is a wizard so he probably doesn't have that much HP because he's casting a lot I just try to stay on top of him and just overwhelm him with light attacks because he's using the moon veil I'm trying to just do one light attack at a time and then if he if I see that the animation of the transient moonlight is about to come out then I just roll so I just try to reaction roll whenever he goes for the Ash of War which might uh, one shot me if he has a lot of intelligence now I'm just chasing him without using the running animation so I can regain some stamina and every time he heals I just go for the light attack and eventually it gets me the kill and that's about it, thanks for watching until the end and please subscribe if you're liking these type of videos.